The National Portrait Gallery has portraits of lots of astronauts in its collection. Today we're paying tribute to those astronauts and to the American Space Program. We're here at the Stephen F. Udvar-Hazy Center of the National Air and Space Museum and we're watching as the shuttle Discovery takes its place in the Smithsonian Collection. We're actually going to see the great swap between the Enterprise and the Discovery. The Discovery, which is slightly off uh, about 200 yards away is actually going to roll up and they're going to exchange places. So if you had to do it all over again, would you, would you have flown more or do you feel like you had just the two perfect moments in space? Oh no, these were both good flights and, and uh, I had, uh, and I treasure the memory of them and was glad I was on them. I think once you've made a space flight though, you'd like to make every flight yourself. Every time a, a new sp uh, vehicle goes up, you'd probably like to be on it yourself because it's a fascinating business and brand new and you feel like you're contributing something to our, to the new, to the unknown. You're uh, rolling back some of those. You're adding to the frontier. To, you're adding to the knowledge bank that we have, and uh, that's exciting to think that you're making new uh, research possible that may benefit people right here on Earth. Well, I have very many memorable moments in space, so I could talk about any one of them. But one of them in particular that comes to mind was my first mission in space. Um, of course, astronauts are very confident. First launch, you've been training for years and you're ready to go, you're ready to handle anything, but you're never really ready to see the Earth with your own eyes. We had main engine cut off, I was shutting down the APUs, I was securing the main engines, and my flight engineer comes up behind me and says, Eileen, look out the window, this is your first sunrise from space. So, and I was on Discovery, okay, so I looked out the window and I saw the Earth's curvature and the beautiful colors, the red and the gold and the blue, and I thought, the Earth is round. <laughs> and of course we know the Earth is round, but when you see it with your own eyes for the first time, it really makes a major impact on you, and you realize we live on a ball. We live on the outside of a ball that is being curled around the sun, and it's spinning, too, on top of that. And that's, what, six, seven billion people that live on the planet. What was your most memorable moment in space? Uh, my most memorable moment in space was probably seeing 9-11 from the International Space Station. I was a commander at that time, and uh, that was an amazing day, as you can imagine. There have been lots of other really uh, interesting and amazing uh, things that have happened also, but uh, that probably had to be the, the one that uh, got me the most. You must have felt pretty far removed from your origins at that moment. Can I... Yeah, we were... We were wondering what it was going to be like when we got back and what else was going to happen. So uh, I felt kind of helpless and isolated because I couldn't do anything to help my family or friends directly. And as far as uh, uh, space flight, uh, the two things that stand out the most were um, my command of discovery. I was able to make the first night landing at Kennedy Space Center. That was very exciting and we prepared a long time for that. And, uh, and it was the first time it landed on a runway in Florida. And then uh, I had a chance when I was on the space station to do a spacewalk and uh, to uh, experience being on top of a, a fantastic big uh, piece of hardware out in space with nothing around you but your helmet. And that was an amazing sight. 